Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Finding Jeremy and Sebastian. Today is another travel day and we have arrived in Puerto Princesa in Palawan Island, the Philippines. So we're right now waiting to find our transfer to Nakpan Beach which is in the north part of Palawan Island. Um, we should be there for three nights, um, swimming and relaxing. We organised a transfer from the airport to Nakpan Beach and set off in a minivan. The trip was 285 kilometers, traversing a long and windy road, crossing rivers and many small villages before eventually making it to the halfway point. So we are currently en route to our destination, Mactan Beach. It's been a long ride from Puerto Princesa, but we're getting there. We're at the halfway point and we've currently stopped in to have some lunch. The roads along the way have been very windy uh, and they seem to be doing a lot of road work at the moment to make the roads wider. So possibly in the future it will be a little bit more better. Uh, but the scenery along the way has been fantastic. Lots of windy roads leading into beautiful mountains and coves and villages. So really looking forward to our destination point and we'll see you there. So after a very long drive from Puerto Princesa, this morning we have woken up in the beautiful Nakpan Beach here in the north of Palawan. This is a beautiful and long sandy strip just to the north of El Nido town and we've chosen to come here because it has a much quieter pace than El Nido. So this beach is known for its beauty. It's actually got beautiful clear water behind me. It's uh, 45 to 30 minutes from uh, the township of El Nido going north. Um, in around six hours from Puerto Princesa by van. This is a beautiful stretch of coastline with beautiful palms dotting the coastline and crystal clear waters. We're here for the next three nights. So let's see Nakpan Beach. <music> Sunway restaurant and bar. We've just finished our dinner after what's been a fantastic day here in Nakpan Beach. We have swum, we have drunk, we have done everything that you would expect on a holiday and it's been great. Yeah. It's very relaxing and like I was saying to one of my mates right now it's like it's very different when you go to Europe then come into a tropical place where, it, where, the, where the weather is balmy and there is like a live band, there's good food, there's good drinks, and it's just very different, I'm very relaxed. We're, we are very relaxed. That's it. So, we will finish up the day here at the Sunway Lounge and see what tomorrow brings on Nakpan Beach. So I'm just walking along the coast here in Nakpan Beach and going from our hotel a little bit further down. There's a few other establishments just a little bit further down, not many, uh, but there's a cafe and another couple of resorts. So let's go for a bit of a stroll and 
walk down Nakpayan Beach. So today we've just arrived here in El Nido town. This is just a little bit further south from where we were, Nakpan Beach. And we've checked into our hotel, which is the Kuna, really centrally located. And now we're walking through the town and discovering the little side streets, the restaurants, and the area in general. So it's the middle of the day and it's quite warm. So a lot of people are probably either at the beach or having a bit of a rest in their hotel. We are enjoying the quiet streets because later on tonight it is sure to hot up and become really busy. My first impressions of a Nido Town Centre, it's very compact, small streets, lots of people around and um, there's lots of little restaurants and cafes to explore and, um, and check out. So I've currently walked out onto the beach. So the roads here in El Nido lead out to the beach. This is actually a bay uh, called El Nido Bay. And from here we'll be catching our uh, boat to go on our tour in a couple of days time. So we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, on the day. But for now, I'm just really enjoying this view. The scenery and the geography around here is really, really dynamic. So there's Cadlau Island to the back there and really jagged and dynamic cliffs here. Kind of reminds me a bit of Thailand, but uh, I'll leave it here for the moment. It's about to become sunset and I just want to enjoy the sun. Today we have started off with a beautiful healthy breakfast, which is just what we need before we head off to Las Cabañas Beach. All right, so we have just gotten into a tuk-tuk and we're on our way to Las Cabañas Beach. just gotten off the tuk-tuk and that was uh, actually quite a good experience um, really quick and smooth and easy to get here and now we are at Las Cabañas Beach so what did you think of the uh, actual ride here well we got dropped off in front of McDonald's so that is to say how much globalization has actually happened to this world yeah but we're not eating McDonald's on this trip there's no, plenty of beautiful no, food definitely. here so on to Las Cabañas Beach so we have arrived at Las Cabañas Beach, that, and we are four kilometers south of El Nido town. We've got a tuk-tuk here, and that costs 150 pesos. So we have just settled here at the beach shack and this is where we will stay for the remainder of the day and enjoy this beautiful beach. This is Las Cabañas. A very good morning today we have checked into our tour with APE tours and we will be cruising around here in El Nido the places that we're going to are Seven Commando Beach the Big Lagoon Shimizu Island Payong Beach and finally the Secret Lagoon I'm not sure which is the actual order but we're gonna be visiting all those places today so we're starting off walking to the boat it's just about 50 meters off of the coast but it's low tide at the moment so I'm in waist deep water and uh, soon to go on the boat, which is right over there. So 
our first destination is Seven Commando Beach. This is an absolutely gorgeous beach characterized with beautiful white sand and pool-like water. So in the distance there, there's beautiful dramatic cliffs. I think they're limestone cliffs. Those mountains in the background and the way they actually just drop into the water is quite spectacular. I wish we were spending a little bit more time here, but for now, we've got 40 minutes to enjoy this beautiful beach. and making our way to the shore. I've got Sebastian here doing a fantastic job. All of his skills from school have really come into handy. This would have to be the highlight of this trip. This is absolutely beautiful the views and the scenery and just the environment here is really beautiful never seen anything like this before and i'm in love so with that we leave it here in el nido it has been absolutely fantastic and we'll see you in puerto princesa so today we have made it to the main town here in palawan called puerto princesa we have not been here before, we're not really too sure about the city itself but we're actually going to go on a city tour in a minute to get to learn the city a bit more and we're also hoping to go to the local brewery called Palawena. Today is a day of relaxing, coffees and sightseeing. So we're staying at the Hugh Hotel which is located a little bit out of the city. It's a bit quieter here and it's a very comfortable hotel. So we have actually come to the Mithras Ranch, which uh, was a belonged to a former politician who was the Speaker of the Filipino Parliament here in the Philippines. So we're a bit elevated up here and we've got beautiful views of the coast down below and there's a nice gentle breeze at the moment and it's just wonderful up here. <music> So we've come here to Baker's Hill and it is just outside of the city and there's lots of bakeries here and beautiful food and it's also kind of developed into some type of a, a theme park so there's lots of uh, beautiful gardens and gimmicks and all that kind of stuff it's definitely a nice place to stop over in and enjoy a beautiful morning or even afternoon. So we found Marilyn here at Baker's Hill in Puerto Princesa and she's looking dashing as ever. So we've now come to the Palawan Wildlife Reserve and Conservation Center. And this is actually just uh, opposite from the bus terminal. So quite easy to get to, and we're gonna see some crocodiles. So we just saw some crocodiles, ranging from baby crocodiles all the way through to big mature ones. And just to say, they're pretty damn scary. So the wildlife park has multiple exhibits. There's monkeys, there's porcupines, there's some bears, and also- the Crocodiles, and like also babies and adults. Correct. And it's quite an expansive park. So there's actually a lot of different sections. And right now we're walking in what is a rainforest. Some background onto this uh, park, it was actually um, built in 1987 through a grant from the Japanese government uh, to conserve uh, the crocodiles. So we have come to a place called El Cuartel. This used to be the old Spanish garrison back in the days of the colony. So this place is infamous for a massacre that occurred here between the Japanese Imperial Army and the American POWs. Many of them were actually massacred and um, only a few of them survived. 
Uh, so it's a very sad story. So we're finishing the last night here in Puerto Princesa by having some nice beers at Palaueno uh, Brewery. This is a craft beer uh, brewery and it's one of the only few ones in the island. So we will have a lot of fun here. So we have come to the Puerto Princesa Bay Walk area along uh, the coastline here and it's flanked by mountains in the background. It is evening so there's a lot of people sitting down and waiting for the sunset. It's absolutely beautiful here and uh, what a great way to finish off this travel vlog. So thank you for watching and if you liked please um, like and subscribe and we will see you in the next travel vlog.